the day before yesterday, you were five parts of a hundred back in second position. Did you expect to sit here today in the middle of the podium? Добрый вечер. Вы знаете, мы были мы были очень довольны, что получили такие оценки после короткой программы и за хорошее катание. И я даже не знаю, мы мы не, мы с Викой вот в день перерыва, когда у нас была одна тренировка и сегодня с утра. Мы не настраивались так, что нам нужно что-то вырвать, забрать или, или посоревноваться. Мы настраивались с ней так, чтобы донести нашу программу, прокатать так, как мы катались последние тренировки, как мы тренировались здесь с нашей произвольной программой, и чтобы у нас все получилось и по возможности, чтобы все получилось чисто, качественно. И Я думаю, что мы и морально справились сегодня. Мы очень рады, что здесь сидим. Но я не могу сказать, что мы до конца ожидали, что э, будем сидеть здесь по центру. Um, well, good evening, first of all. And, uh, you know, we were just very pleased uh, after the sh uh, program with our scores and uh, with our performance. With and during the day off and uh, the, this morning in practice, uh, we did not really focus on that we have to take something, that we have to compete, that we have to explode. We just uh, focused on bringing across our program, so to skate like we do in training and like in our last practice, and to skate uh, most of all to deliver a clean performance and with quality. And I think we managed to do that today. But I must say we didn't quite expect to sit in the middle today. It's your first big international title, and it took quite a long time until the scores of Gabriele and Guillaume came out. So express a little bit of your feelings during these minutes, which seemed to be eternity, didn't they? You know, вообще подойти к Габриэлу и Гийоме всем на планете фигуристам казалось невозможным, но мы здесь все спортсмены и очень много ребят, кто трудится каждый день, работает над собой, старается улучшиться. И я вот сегодня уже говорил, что мы смотрели прокат ребят, и они катались, может быть, не совсем чисто, как они могут, и у них есть еще огромный потенциал, мы уверены. Но и у нас у всех тоже есть огромный потенциал, и это и значит соревнования, это и значит что-то может у кого-то один раз не получиться, и что-то у другого. Может быть, все, все чисто откатаются, и столько судей будут оценивать. И вот сегодня, наверное, произошло так, что мы выстояли, но это не значит, что мы собираемся останавливаться или расслабляться, мы собираемся двигаться только вперед, у нас есть цели, у нас есть планы тренировочные пока, и в общем мы очень хотим, хотим быть лидерами. Um, well, competing with Gabriela and Guillaume seemed like something impossible, and uh, but uh, we are uh, we all are athletes, and everybody we and the others we are athletes. We are, everybody is working very hard, working very hard every day to improve and to get better. And maybe today they did something not quite clean as they could have done it, and and they have still a lot of potential and to do much better, and uh, as we do and as others do, and not and every day everything works out. Uh, maybe <clears throat> for you. But uh, that doesn't mean, and today it uh, was that we just uh, stepped forward and uh, we did very well. But that doesn't mean that we are going to stop. We uh, con will continue to move forward and we have goals and we want to be the leaders. Thank you very much. Spasiba. Gabriele and Guillaume, normally with a score of 
220.28 points, you win an, uh, a tournament, or you win a title, you win a, even win a big title. Today you finish second, maybe second only for you. At the end of your performance, did you feel that maybe that would not be enough to defend your title? Um, well, yeah, we knew that the competition was uh, very close. With um, um, so, yeah, of course, we knew that we 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 didn't have room for a mistake, and we knew that we did a couple of mistakes. But uh, at first, the feeling that we we got was that we were very very happy with our performance, the way that we dealt with the competition and the stress and um, and everything. I mean, it's been it's our seventh. Uh, European championships and we've won five of them so which is huge already and uh, <laughs> <I think so. laughs> and we are already very very proud of that and and we're very especially proud of um, the way we we handled everything this week and and um, and yeah you know we can't always win and uh, we accept it and we we know that it's 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 also a lesson for us that we probably need it um, so all is well, and uh, we we can't wait to work and uh, to to go back to work and to go to world's championship. You had to run after your opponents. Was it a disadvantage for you? Would you have liked to start before them? Um, not really. It doesn't really matter for us. Um, no, we usually as soon as we step on the ice, we're just uh, it's just the two of us. We're just in our in our bubble, and it d didn't really matter if what happens before or after. We we just um, we try to enjoy every moment on the ice, and that's what we did today. Even though we did a few mistakes, so that's what we're proud of. So it, is, it was such a close shave. I mean, you, you said you'd made quite a few mistakes. So maybe you said, well, made, we made three or four mistakes. If you only had made two of them, we would have defended our title. What do you think about it? I mean, if you were back three or four points, you'd say, OK, it's clear off, but so very close. Is that something that really disturbs you? <laughs> It happens in sport. The, the scores were very, very close. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Nikita and Victoria did a really great performance. Apparently, I didn't see it. but And so, you know, it's just uh, the way sports goes. Merci bien. Alexandre and Ivan, you finished third. After the rhythm dance, you were fourth. That means. You hadn't had a medal after the first part of the event. Now you have got the bronze medal. Had you expected to be there because it was just one point back? On the other hand, you were a silver medalist last year. How do you see this situation? Добрый вечер. Хочется сказать, во-первых, спасибо огромное публике и поздравить ребят со всех с пьедесталом. И я не знаю, как ответить правильно, ожидали мы или нет, но мы в предыдущем сезоне действительно были вторые, и поэтому мне сложно на самом деле ответить на этот вопрос. Но сегодня у нас был хороший прокат, и мы довольны, тренеры довольны, и публика безумно приняла нас сегодня, и было очень приятно. Спасибо. So, um, yeah, first of all, thank you to everybody and to the audience, and congratulations to our competitors. Well, um, it's hard to say. Uh, yes, we were second last year, so I think it's uh, really hard to say for me if we expected to be on the podium or not. Um, but uh, we had a good performance today. We're happy with that, and our coaches were also pleased, and we also felt that the audience gave us a huge uh, um, a support. When you finished your performance, 
and you did the best performance as, uh, this year. I think the, you had the most points uh, during this season. Did you feel that would be enough for a medal? Нет, мы не думали, мы не высчитывали, но мы растем от старта к старту, и поэтому, естественно, стараемся получить на каждом соревновании как можно больше баллов. Well, we didn't think about that. We didn't really count points. Uh, we just try for with each competition to improve and to, to get a better score with each competition. Okay, спасибо. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your questions, please. First question, the first row. Come on. Thank you. Merci, спасибо. Uh, Victoria Nikita, uh, I'd like to ask you, you, you seem to have developed a very specific relationship and emotion within you, for sure but uh, also with that music, Antonin Vorjak's The Songs My Mother Told Me. Can you develop a bit that, that close connection you have amongst you to that music and with the music? Вы знаете, мы придумали для себя такую историю, еще когда послушали эту музыку и решили ставить под нее произвольную программу. Можно представить, что какой-то человек, возможно, тебе близкий, а возможно, незнакомый, как будто отчаялся в чем-то в жизни, может быть, или произошли какие-то проблемы, или, ну, не знаю, что-то пошло не так. И на его пути внезапно встречается человек, родственная душа или просто прохожий какой-то, который поддержал и э, как бы вовремя протянул руку и показал, что мир прекрасен, и что не стоит отчаиваться и унывать, а э, стоит идти только и двигаться вперед. Вот, в принципе, это э, связывает нас и с музыкой, и с Викой вместе во время, во время программы, и стараемся так донести. You know, we, we sort of a story before we were um, putting, uh, mounting our free dance uh, that our story is um, you, there's a person, maybe a person close to you or maybe not that close to you, but that person is desperate and has some problems, has to overcome some difficulties. And on this journey, they, this person meets another uh, soul, another person that is supportive and that uh, gives you the hand to, for support and shows you that you don't have to be desperate. And And, uh, and that you don't have to be desperate and upset. And I think this is what uh, connects us to the music. And this is what we are trying to project. Okay. Third row. I have a question from Gabriela and Guillaume. Did you add some music pieces to the, your free program after the Grand Prix final, or is, was it exactly the same music? Um, no, it's exactly the same music. Okay, yeah. okay, thank you. Any more questions? Uh, the gentleman, no, no, in the third, in the sixth letter, yes. Hello, I can ask questions for Gabriela and Guillaume. Could you compare your emotions af after you losing a Canadian pair and now? Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, I, every competition is different, every season is different. Um, it's of course not the same feeling because we, we've grown a lot and we have a lot more experience. Um, so this is, this is very different for us. Uh, we, 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 we've learned something here that, um, that is new compared to what we've learned with other, um, <coughs> with other <coughs> competitions. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's different. Okay. First row again. Gabriela and Guillaume, I hope that you didn't take second place only to escape my question. <laughs> so here it is. I have one for you. Uh, I was watching you carefully and I thought, wow, I'm in a completely different world, dimension. And then when you stopped, it was like, oh, it's already done. And uh, yeah, you know, it's in relativity, work on that. In relativity, uh, time gets shorter. Uh, how do you work on that, that other dimension? How do you achieve that dimension? Because beyond the result, there is the journey. And you took us through a journey. How do you work on that? Um, well, thank you first. Um, and I mean, we work, we work on it. We've been working on it a lot throughout our career. But I think just the, the connection that there is between us when we skate. Um, and, you know, we've been skating together since we were eight or nine years old. So it's, um, it's 16, 17 years of... Um, of everything <laughs> so I think what happens now when we skate together is just something that is very very special to us even even if we make mistakes or whatever really happens during the performance I think what we take out from this journey it's so much bigger than um, a medal or uh, a result so I think that's the um, that's our journey, and that's the world that we, we're trying to get people to um, to believe in and to get into with us. And yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. If there are no more questions, I say thank you for joining us. Thank you, the six of you. Have a nice evening, and all the best to you for the future. Thank you very much.